What's up guys? We are in beautiful Destin, Florida and it is currently 11 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we are right now going to do an ice plunge and um, or cold plunge for that matter. And this is the only place that had it. The last two days I had to go in just a, a stinking pool, which honestly, it was actually probably like 45 degrees-ish. So not, not super intense, you know, one, cause I'm really, uh, uh, I guess cold resilient, but that is something I, I did for the past two days. Actually, last night, I actually ended up going out really late and uh, stayed up to like three. And I was like, oh fuck, I gotta do the fucking cold tub. And then pretty much had to, had to do it at had to do it at 3 a.m. Uh, you know had to had to keep the streak, had to keep the word man's word to the challenge. You know I could I could have totally just pre-recorded this whole entire week, you know ahead of time, and just like being like yeah you know I did it while you know during this week. And I never told you guys I went to went went here. So this is just the honest truth about being again an entrepreneur is a lot of times. The environment's not gonna be perfect, and you're not you're not really gonna have all the perfect circumstances. That's really life in general. It's like you're never never gonna. Ah oh shit. There we go. But other than that, not to get too I guess philosophical, we have lots of lots and lots of shit to do. March is gonna be a really great month. It's really it's really starting to look brighter for for March. So. We're really excited. We're gonna hire. Made oh my gosh. Progress. Uh, hey, let me call you back in a little bit. Oh, okay, I'm trying to help your mom with Uber. I'm okay, yeah, get that. Yeah, just get that done first. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, so yeah, this month's looking really good. Partnered up with our huge affiliates, and man, we're gonna blow this shit up. But we need to make sure that we have more customer success managers. So. We're, we're on the prowl right now for more customer success managers. We're on the hunt for more. And I was going through SaaS Academy and it was really interesting to me because I saw that we, what was it? It was like hire for the soul and then train for the role. Which is really, really, really surprising. Because I, I, there's also, because there's also the sayings like hire only for, hire only if they have experience in the role. So it's like, we also have to find someone who has a soul and also has experience for the role, which is why hiring that that is that is in essence what an A player is is that they have the soul for the role, and on top of that they also have major experience with the role. That is someone who you can't just like pay base salary for. Like that's someone you have to fucking actually compensate at the level they're at the level of the value they're providing. So. And that's how you grow companies. You build the people and the, the people build the business. You don't build the business, you, the people do. So I, I'm, I'm like, I've, I, I'm slowly starting to kind of understand the concept. I haven't fully grasped it yet, just cause I, I don't think, I don't have C players, but I think, I, I mean, let me think. Because I don't know what really an A player looks like. Maybe I do have A players. I, I have no idea. Because I've never seen it be... I guess maybe I have, but uh, A players to me are someone like almost an exact replica of me. I would consider myself an A player. Um, I would consider myself having the soul for the role I'm in and having the experience in the role I'm in. And that what makes me so successful is because I have those two things and the drive and ambition to strive for greatness. Um, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and do this plunge, record it, and get the hell out of here. Go back, do some work. Uh, I have a meeting later today, and then I'm gonna go to the beach, get a tan, play some play some football on the beach, and then really that's all. And then I'll I'll, I'll go to dinner tonight, and we'll see what happens. But um, I I'm I'm just I'm I'm pretty proud. I'm I'm really proud of the team because i'm able to be a lot less stressed about what's going on and i know that like you know shit's getting done even though i'm not there and shit's still growing even though if i'm not there so it's really comforting to know that like i can be on the beach 
the beach is cool and whatever but it gets really boring after like a day uh it's like the same shit but it is a nice refresher after a while i'm not gonna lie like i'm not even gonna bullshit like it's nice but you know i i what i enjoy the most is just work i, I really do enjoy work so and i'm trying out this cold brew it's like a, a vanilla some some bullshit from starbucks i usually don't drink this stuff i didn't i did this was my friend i i didn't drink this but usually i would just take like a supplement that has caffeine you know the, the efficacy of that may not be the best however it's just the most convenient and easy and if it's like a 20 percent drop off then it's like i don't really care i just don't want to have to fucking sip on a drink and then like have to do all this shit to get a drink i can just like pop 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 and then i'm done i'm a fucking wired or i'll pop in nicotine gum apparently you know there is some side effects to it which i mean for the focus and short-term memory i get i i i don't i i i'm fine with the with that gain or i'm fine with that loss because i do i do enjoy it when i'm working uh, it definitely helps me focus so that's something i i, I thoroughly enjoy for my quote-unquote nootropic i don't even i i wouldn't even call nicotine i guess a nootropic I, i'd say more on the stimulant side i guess nootropic or nootropic is uh I, I don't know i feel like nootropic would be more so on the creative side like creative uh creative help not like not actually like oh let's freaking get going like i don't i don't think of nootropics like that that's like i think of like caffeine not as nootropic for sure i think it can be considered as a nootropic but a lot of times it's a it's a stimulant very obviously and nicotine i think falls on this umbrella like theocrine also is like a sister of caffeine they work very synergistically together another compound that works synergistically with exogenous amounts of caffeine is l-theanine or l-thionine or whatever you guys call it same shit that so that like the l-theanine reduces stress levels calms you down and then the caffeine kind of brings you up and stims you up so it kind of gets you in that little goldilocks kind of zone so enough enough with the yapping uh, i'm gonna go get in and freaking do this shit okay so just finished a meeting we're switching payment processors right now to a different solution off of stripe this is what happened you know late q2 early q1 or no early q3 we got the team working on a bunch of stuff super excited about that we got a dispo portal coming up super awesome uh but there's lots of shit to do. It's, mine's kind of foggy right now, but about to cook some New York strips, go out to the beach and do all that stuff. But man, I'm so tired. I got like a 6% recovery and like four hours of sleep and my body needs like 10 hours of sleep. I'm really tired. So, um, Honestly, I'm really tired of this shit. Like, after a day, I'm kind of wanting to just go back home right now because this is ridiculous. But I finished the cold tub. It's really nice. Uh, but there's also this stuff called hydrogen water that they gave me. It's called Depure. Um, it's hydrogen water. Apparently, there's a lot of benefits. I might get one. I asked him, like, what was the main benefits? Of drinking out of water like this and uh apparently there's just a bunch of benefits with hydrogen water it's good water it's, it tastes the same um but i guess i mean i guess i'll try to buy a machine i think it's like like some six grand or something like that for like a good one let's see here i gotta respond to a bunch of shit we got so much shit to do this morning this week uh let's see i'm gonna go cook lunch right now and then 
go back, but I actually, I kind of wanted to go back to office. Let me follow up with um, Trying to get the accelerator onboarding live right now. It looks not bad. Let's just jump in here and check. I'll make this work, you know? How beautiful it looks. It looks so beautiful. That's the accelerator on brain. It's finally live. It took like um, a little bit, but as you can see, my voice is like really dead right now. Um, really tired. I'm so tired. Um, so I'm just gonna push you today and just like try to sleep in tonight. Prepare for this week's webinar. So. Yeah. See you guys later.